name is Flora Ducha. I work at United Nations headquarters in New York in the Department of Global Communication, formerly was called Public Information Department or DPI. Well, I'm the chief of UN News Kiswahili at the Department of Public Information. My typical day is hectic and is busy, I can say, because once you work in media, and especially when you work on news, you have to go with time, with deadline, time differences with the audience. Mostly we focus on Africa, Eastern, Southern and uh, Central Africa, and we do programs. So apart from being a supervisor for Kiswahili News uh, section, I'm also a producer, multimedia producer, but I also have to do presentation and I have to do interviews and I have to do features and everything else. What we do, which is the most important thing, contributes to the agenda of the UN in the programs we produce on a daily basis. They focus on the main agendas of the UN, uh, for example, SDGs, gender, education, and also peacekeeping mission, which is one of the huge part of UN work uh, in a daily basis. One day I was telling my parents that when I grow up, I want to become a journalist. Why? Because I like not telling people what to do, but informing people, educating them, letting know what's happening around them, around the world. And that was my motivation. And I used to love a lot of radio presenters whom I listened to when I was growing up. I was a little kid. And I'm glad that my dream came true because after I graduated high school, I got an opportunity to join Tanzania Broadcasting Corporation. Now it's called like that. Before they used to call it Radio Tanzania. So I joined them. So I, I pursued my studies while I was working. And that was the beginning of my journey. And it's almost 25 years ago. During the GA, especially during the two, week of, two weeks of high-level debate, is hectic, is compact, is crazy. <laughs> it's early mornings, late nights, and busy running up and down, doing this and that, chasing this um, head of state, doing interviews. So it's really hectic. You have to be really organized. You have to plan ahead, and you have to have a good teamwork. I can tell you one thing, our focus is Africa and most of the UN work is done in Africa. The General Assembly or the UN member states, 53 of them are from Africa. So you can understand that this is really important, not only for the UN, but for the people UN serves, the people who are in Africa. I can give you an example, for example, there's a war going on in South Sudan, Democratic Republic of Congo, the situation is tense in Burundi, there's a lot going on. And these people speak Kiswahili, sometimes it's really important to send a message to the people using the language they can understand. So for the UN, Kiswahili is really important. And not only that, Kiswahili is the only African language here, especially uh, at the Department of Public Information. And the UN understands that this huge part of the world we serve, we need to send a message across using their own language they can understand. Can tell you that being a journalist is not only a talent it is something you love it has to be in you it has to be in your blood people say i love journalism and once you love this field you want to find it difficult to handle otherwise if you go because it's a job for you it's not something you love, you'll find it very challenging because it has a lot of challenges. Sometimes you're trying to get a good story and you can't because you want to interview someone and says no, you don't give up. But the important thing is to go to school and study about media and mass communication, journalism, broadcasting, whether it's in print, it's in multimedia, it's in social media, and it's in uh, original uh, broadcasting platforms like radio and television. This all comes as a package. So you have to love the job, you have to have the education, and you have to have the willingness to do this job because 
This job needs patience and this job needs understanding.